electrons are referred as they are particularly localized to this place so that's why these electrons are called as localized electrons but here the electrons are moving above and below so these are called as mobile electrons what is this sigma bond electrons are localized electrons and pi bond electrons are mobile electrons and without any formation of pi bond sigma bond will be formed so we can say this is having independent existence because there is end and end overlapping is there but here without formation of sigma bond there is no pi bond formation because along the internuclear axis first sigma bond should be formed with the support of the sigma bond then only pi bond takes place next because of the sigma bond formation we can able to say the shape of the molecule shape of the molecule decides the number of sigma bond but pi bond does not affect any shape of the molecule because the electrons are moving here and there there and here means they won't stable in one particular condi one particular place or space so we cannot say particularly the these are determine the shape of the molecule and a sigma bond is formed by the overlapping of ss sp pp pd orbitals means by the overlapping by the over not pd by the overlapping of either 1s orbital with one more s orbital or 1s orbital with one p orbital or p orbital with p orbital by the overlapping of all these sigma bond will be formed next by the overlapping of pp or pd pi bond will be resulted next only hybridized orbitals are also involved in sigma bond formation but hybridized orbital does not involved in pi bond formation okay next only one sigma bond should be formed between any two atoms and after the formation of a sigma bond then only pi bond takes place each additional bond formed after one sigma bond is called as pi bond so we can say that pi bond is a dependent and sigma bond is independent and sigma electrons are called as localized electrons and pi electrons are called as mobile electrons and here along the internuclear axis sigma bond will be formed away from the internuclear axis and which are perpendicular to the internuclear axis pi bond will be resulted sigma bond decides the shape of the molecule or geometry of the molecule whereas pi bond does not affect by the electrons of pi and sigma bond is a strong bond pi bond is a weak bond in this we are going to discuss some of the sigma and pi bonds formed between any two atoms so let us take we'll see first of all carbon carbon so as carbon valency is 4 around the carbon we know it has to form four bond 1 2 3 4 this carbon contains four bonds hydrogen one bond hydrogen one bond so this is a covalent bond no right first bond formed between any two atoms is a sigma bond next between two atoms first bond is sigma bond between two atoms first bond is sigma bond so in this c2 in this here one more sorry this is not balanced if you consider this one this is balanced okay then 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 Four, four bonds. So one, two, two pi bonds between any two carbon atoms. Only one sigma bond is there between any two atoms. Only one sigma, only one sigma. In this C two H two, which is ethane. In this number of sigma bonds are three and number of pi bonds are two. 
Now you understood how the formation? Okay. Let us suppose take carbon, carbon, single bond. Here CH3, here CH3. So for this single bond, we can say only one sigma bond will be existed. Between carbon and carbon, double bond, we can say there is one sigma and one pi bond. Okay. Next, if you take triple bond, in this triple bond also, only one sigma and two pi bonds are there. If the number of bonds increases, there is only one sigma bond and remaining all bonds which are added between any two atoms are called as pi bond. Completed, sir.